You know, Only Yesterday is 25 years old, and um, one may think, how is it going to appeal to kids today? But when a story is written well, um, it should appeal to any generation. Uh, cloudy? Hmm? Do you like sun or clouds? A sunny day or a cloudy day? Which do you like best? I think the reason probably um, this is such a loved film and will continue to be so is because it is, it doesn't feel foreign. It feels exactly right. Like, you know, how do you um, make your dreams come true and stuff like that? And I guess you live, you go day to day and you try new things and you meet new people and eventually you'll kind of end up where you should be. Um, so I, I think anyone around the world, girl, boy, young, old, goes through kind of transitional periods of self-discovery. And um, because of that, this film will speak to everyone. Hey, why are the girls buying some sort of special underpants from the nurse? Wait, what? It's so relatable and it's so realistic. And I, I love the fact that it was just done in a realistic way. And so, yeah, okay, sure, it may be awkward, but you know what? It, it is so... Perfect, it's like it's in the mind of a teenage girl. And so it, it doesn't matter that it was written 25 years ago. Um, anyone's gonna be able to relate to it. Hey, farm girl. Dojo. <laughs> <laughs> I play a, a young farmer called Toshio, and he is um, the epiphany of optimism. And he's very passionate about farming and He's kind of um, wants to take it back to the way it was in the old days. So he doesn't want to use pesticides and machinery. And he feels that if he respects nature, then it will give back to him. It's like a beautiful symbiotic relationship between man and nature. And um, he kind of falls in love with the lead character, Tycho. And uh, he has his very own kind of charming way of wooing her. For a film to... Um center on a woman in the 60s and 80s and have been already released 25 years ago um, and cinema still being where it is today with um, people not being represented right I guess it's very exciting it's funny because I guess Ghibli films a lot of the time they're fantastical and everything but then the human stories are so human they are what so many people around the world can identify with you know I, I see a lot of myself in him in a way he's um, kind of very clumsy so throughout the filming, I've been tripping on my own cords and falling over and stuff. So you guys have seen that. So he's quite like me, like me that way. He doesn't, you know, he's not very cool, but um, he's got his own kind of adorable likability factor to him. You know what? I have to say, I wish I was as patient as he is. One of my downfalls is I'm not a good listener as he is. But um, uh, I, like I said, I really, you know, I really um, connect with the guy's passion and... Um, and many of his other personality traits, you know. Um, and I, I know what it's like to fall head over heels in love with someone. Um, I think, that, you know, many people do, so I, I do like that, yeah. He's not smooth. He's not like a smooth kind of smooth talker. He's just, he's, like I said, he's clumsy and enthusiastic about life. Hey, Nanako, it's Tycho. How are you? Hey, Nanako, it's me, Tycho. I'm heading up to the farm today. Anything you need me to bring to your husband's family? So it takes a little while to, to figure out the character and then all of a sudden you just you hit it and you're like, okay, that's it. You're in your lane. And um, and then you just go through and record your lines one by one. Um, oftentimes in film, you're in the studio by yourself. Uh, you're not with the rest of the cast. So that's something that's different uh, in voice acting versus live action is you usually get to meet the cast at the premiere. It's really exciting. You know, you shake hands and you're like, hi, nice to meet you. I was your sister. <laughs> it's, it's different because like well, with this especially because it's hand painted and everything, it's there before you do it. So you're so there are a couple of times where you're like, huh, well, you think one thing, but then Taiko's like smiling. So you're like, oh, she's smiling. This is how the Japanese would have sounded and how that would have been said. Um, so it's different. It's not like, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but it's um, lovely. And also for a film that's so beautiful, kind of doing the voiceovers and everything, you're like, oh, God, this is cool. We have to... Uh, blah, 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 blah. That was good though, right? Yeah. That's right, you're a baby walker. I really thought she was dead for sure. Nothing. I just... I just... 
I thought you were a bag snatcher. <laughs> huh? Uh, uh, whoa! It doesn't taste anything like what you get in a can. Not really. For some reason, I just love the idea of picking safflower like they used to. Of course, living up here, you must know all about it. A film like Only Yesterday really could be done in live action. I mean, it's such a realistic story. But to see it hand-drawn and um, hand-painted animation, I mean, it's just something that, as a fan, makes Studio Ghibli so great. Uh, it, it's so beautiful. And um, I, I just love sitting in the theater and watching the final product. And you just realize that you're a small part of a of a true piece of art. I like coming of age stories more than anything. And this is about a girl um, growing up and understanding herself and, um, and where her place is in the world, in life. And I think um, that's a universal story. Um, and looking back on someone's history, your own history and learning from those experiences, understanding them is really important in uh, shaping you as, a, as, a, as an adult, really. So um, that's, that's what I really like about the film. It's a supreme honor to be approached by Studio Ghibli, you know. Um, their work is gonna stand the test of time. I think the stories, you know, have touched so many millions of people around the world. And um, ironically, after doing it these three days, I'm proud of this more than most of the films I've done. I'm so happy that it's on my resume, yeah. The days have flown by. I'm tired, but in a deeply satisfying way. I feel a little like one of those flower-picking girls of old. If I'd had the chance to help out like this when I was a girl, I'd have written an essay about my own life, not just about something I read. <laughs>